hey guys welcome to next selenium tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to see the method that uh, selenium provides called get attribute right so first of all why we need this get attribute method right so when you take any web application so in that particular web application we can see lot of web elements right so whatever you see all these buttons radio buttons the text whatever you see everything displays based on the web element right so each web element will have multiple attributes let us see right some of the examples so this is the rental right this is the rental it this displays as a link right you can see this particular web element right this is this is this has a anchor tag a and this has multiple attributes so the attribute is like it displays as a key and value pair like how it displays in json the same way here also it displays so here it, it named as a attribute and corresponding value this is the title attribute the corresponding value is rental so like that it keeps going so this is the uh, attributes that every web element has right so why we need to get this uh, attributes right so that is the question that we will get so say for example right so guys so this is the uh, sample web page that Etra has so whenever we go and click on any tags right so by whenever we the moment you click on this caps so some of the values should display as by default the values say for example this rental right you can see two different uh, anchor uh, links over here one is rental and the second one is airport transfer right so the moment you click on caps so this rental should display in a red color and this should be a selected one right so when right this is the default one the same way if we go uh, down that uh, uh, links right you can see three uh, different radio buttons right so the by default this outstation round tip should be selected right so these should these two should not be selected right so these are the, some of the default values that we have to verify right in the same way right if you go for red bus website so over here right so the moment you uh, click on this right so you can see over here these two are disabled another two will be like uh, it is not selected so the moment you click on this selected right it should be selected so like that so some of the values right we should verify so say for example uh, uh, if you inspect this particular web element this is the input tag right so guys uh, so over here right so about to that you can see link tag so in this right uh, if you go to the class right you can see the attribute has this type active radio so the moment you select on the other one this type active radio will disappear right only the class will have one way outstation so if we expand this particular another element this has this uh, type active radio right you can see the values are getting changed in this web element so these are the different things that we have to verify so why we need to get the attribute right? this is the reason right so to verify this whether this particular radio button is selected or not the by de default value is selected or not checkbox is selected or not these are the different uh, things that we can verify using our get attribute method so for that we need to get the attribute of this particular uh, input uh, tag or anchor tag right so then only we can verify whether this particular uh, radio button is selected or not you may be asking uh, there is a default method called uh, e selected uh, that selenium supports right so yeah we can use that particular uh, e selected method but one uh, that e selected method will not work in all the cases right so selenium support that is selected method only in case of it is a input tag right it, it will not it will not be applicable when it comes to other tags right so say for example it is an anchor tag so we wanted to verify whether this particular uh, tag is selected by default or not but this is not the input tag so in that case we have to get the attribute of this particular anchor tag and then we have to verify whether particular this type active is present in this particular class or not right so in, this, in those kind of exceptional cases we have to go for this particular get attribute method and get the key value pair and then we have to verify it, right so this is the reason why we have to go for your get attribute method right so let us see an example using this cab uh, this uh, yatra.com so let us take this caps uh, website and see what will happen right guys that is not only the case guys uh, so say for example if you go for your uh, 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 links right so in one web page if you go for if you wanted to get all the uh, links and you have to verify whether the particular broken links are there or not right in that case also this href is there so in that case that uh, 
it has anchor tag or image tag so in that case we have to go for your get attribute method only or in case of if you want to verify tool tip in that case it has that title uh, attribute so we have to uh, get that attribute and we have to verify it so in that same case like you can go for radio button is selected or not or uh, checkbox is selected or not some special cases like we have seen in uh, this website right so this is anchor tag and rate, uh, we have to verify whether it is selected or not so these kind of are some uh, different scenarios that right if it comes to your web application right so we have to go for we have to go for our get attribute method right so let us see the example of with ethra.com caps right so let us take this particular web element this is the anchor tag let us try to find this uh, let, by x path so let us take as absolute not absolute relate to x path like this the anchor tag so anchor tag has what is the attribute let's take the title as the attribute title should contain rental so if this particular web element is present in your web page what i wanted to do is i wanted to get the attribute right so what is uh, get attribute will do right it will take your uh, uh, attribute name as a parameter so what exactly does it mean right so whatever this particular uh, tag right not only this particular any tag which has that right so if you pause whatever the attribute right so say for example here href is the attribute name so if you pass this href then it will return this javascript avoid of zero if you pass as title then it will return rental as a value as a string value if you pass as class then it will return this blur, blur class type active so, so what we have to exactly pass is that this key what we have to pass in the parameter right so here we have to pass the attribute name as the key right so say for example if you go for other uh, attributes like the uh, other attributes like this if you wanted to get this particular b e cap brown so we have to pass as a for over here here we have to pass as a for or if you want to get this uh, particular uh, outstation round tip as a tool tip then you have to pass as here as a title so we wanted to get this rent uh, this rentals um, whether it is by default is selected or not so we have to pass a class as a attribute so what this will do right so this will take this particular um, uh, anchor tag completely and it will take all the attributes and then it will loop through all the attributes if it finds the class attribute then it will return the value whatever it finds right so if if you, you can say uh, if this particular uh, class attribute is does not present in this particular web element what what will happen so in that case what will happen right this get attribute will return null value right so you can see over here get the value of the given attribute of the element will return the current value even if the it has been modified after the page reloaded right so if nothing is present this will return a null value so if this particular class attribute does not present in a particular uh, web element then this will return a null value otherwise it will return a string value right so this is going to be a default value right is going to return a particular value string value Let's see why this is throwing error this is going to be this one value so default is a keyword so the, it is it's not taking so let's take it as a value so this has to return the exact value right so once this is present so we have to check whether this is this is returning a null or value so because if the class attribute does not exist in the particular anchor tag so then this will return null so let us verify that it should not be null object then it has to assert true what it has to assert this particular value 
contains what we have to verify whether this is selected by default or not so for that we should verify type active this is the string we wanted to verify else you can say asset true so this will return void right so this has to and else this has to fail the condition asset dot asset fail asset dot asset true let's make it as a false right so what exactly does this will do right so this will take your this particular web element from that web element takes the class attribute so this will return a string so if it is active then it this particular attribute will contain type active otherwise this will fail the condition right so let us try running and see this has to of uh, the caps tab this has to get the attribute of this particular web element right so this has been passed so that's why it is not returning anything let us print something over here so what is the value this has got Then we'll come to attribute value. Right, yes, you can see over here this this returns the blur class type active so this has written exactly that's why it is passed so let us see some example like we are passing incorrect uh, value or let us take this should not be active one and then this has to this condition has to fail condition is like rental is not selected by default right so now what will happen this this has to be failed so because we have a given type one now this has to fail You can see right asset condition failed after this line this is failed because the rental is not selected by default you can see rental is not selected by default expected true but found false because this type active one is not present in the attribute whatever we have seen over here right so that's why it is failed so these are the uh, multiple benefits that we can see using get attribute so we it's not only that we can go for this anchor type we can get any attributes value right so in that case what can we do we can do a get attribute or method and we can fetch the value and then we can verify whether it is selected by default or not right so you can go for your is selected method uh, which selenium provides there is no issue in that but it works only with input text input uh, tag elements it will not work on other elements so that's why we have to use get attribute methods right that's all from this uh, video guys if you love watching my video please like my video please leave it in the comments if you have any queries or comments right so thanks for watching the video thank you